All right, it's saying I have an excellent connection. Is it lying to me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? All right, where's my controls there? All right, I don't see anybody. I hope I'm doing this right. Do do. Maybe she go to Facebook and tell everybody I'm here. All right. I'm typed into Facebook. Am I missing something here? Let's see. All right, there's Chad. Hey, Chad. Bad Monkey, JCB. Welcome. Let's see here. Maybe I should make, make, make a video. Oh, this is a late, quick, quick get on here. Apologize for that. I was eating some, some late dinner and realized my time was slipping away here. So... I got a couple things to show you. If y'all didn't watch the video already, I'm gonna show you my new knife. If y'all did watch it, you're gonna see it anyways. It's very awesome. I bought something this weekend, or this week, it came yesterday. And then somebody sent in some cool PIF stuff. So, I think we have a bunch of stuff to do. And then I have a question to ask for the knife experts. Oh, where are my glasses? Everything's blurry. Oh, hey Eddie, welcome. Yeah, MJ Potato. Yeah, all right, so let's just pull that out. Let's just get the elephant in the room out of the way because it's awesome. Here's my copper one. This is the copper one that was given to me. So awesome. Oh, man, I love the tradition. I'm still going to get the other. Oh, man, I love this knife. There you go. Ooh, that's awesome. So cool. It was just really cool to get that. Oh, yeah. Artisan. Artisan has some really cool knives. I ordered some more stuff from Artisan. And I got a couple more Artisan reviews I got to do. I still haven't done the one I picked up at Blade Show. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. My sign, my sign mini proponent with Dirk on the side. Dirk. Dark Dirk. What's that from? Dark Dirk. Dirk Phoenix. Do y'all know? Do y'all know what that's from? Yeah, it's, this one is patina in nicely. Look at that. You can tell right under the clip. And then just the rest of it is just sweat and time and anger. Anger patinas nicely. That's why Grandpa was so dark. No, that's not true. <laughs> Uh, you know Grandpa. He patinaed very well. <laughs> All right. Oh. Dark Dirk. Better Potato Chip Jesus. I don't know. Potato Chip Jesus is pretty awesome. But yeah, this thing was... Yeah, I saw the blade initially. and the, Just the knife. And I was... Just excited to see the brass one, and then that that made it to where I had to uh, edit edit things out. It was awesome. It was a good knife. Really cool opening, but just a really great knife in hand. This is my favorite. I know I've been over that before. Over the Osprey and over the Shark. This is this is my favorite in hand. The Osprey is awesome though, but this one whew, that's just mm, they couldn't have done any better. It's really really cool. All right, let's see what else. Still have that one. Been using that one a lot this week. It's so light and useful. Just strop it up a little bit after you use it a while, and it comes back nicely. I'm going to put this away so it doesn't get dinged up. Man, I like that knife. I showed my mom. She told me that I had to give it to her. I forget what verse that is where you have to obey your parents, but... That's why I forgot it, so I don't have to obey my parents anymore, because I'm old. The first 
the first verse with promise or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. You there, sir. You in the front row. Hey, Peter B. Dirk from Dragon's Lair. Oh, but man, I love the... Well, that's not it, but I loved watching that. You ever go to the, the arcade? Well, you were, you were right around that time, I think. You'd go to the arcade and they'd have the TV set up on top of the Dragon's Lair game. And you're just watching, like watching a movie. Watching some dude burn through his quarters because you didn't have enough quarters. You're just waiting for the crazy crawler or the crazy climber machine to what, open up. And meanwhile, you get to watch a little show. The dude just keeps getting smoked by the different things. <clears throat> it's all like a timing thing. Just the thing would flash. Bloop, they go bloop, 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 bloop. Flash back and forth like so. I, I don't think I've ever played it once. I didn't have enough quarters to worry about having to learn how to do the flash stuff. So it wasn't obvious. You know, like a Space Invaders or a Pac-Man thing. There wasn't any any chance I was going to waste my hard-earned quarters. By hard-earned, I mean the ones I stole from Grandma. <laughs> or, or my uncle. Not that uncle. But, you know, the one with the Porsche. <laughs> he shouldn't have left his change jar out. But anyways, so... I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> the energy drink. It's making me talk funny. And a really cool artist and a guy. Let me show, show you these other two... Artisan budget knives I got real quick. These things are awesome. I'll be reviewing these this week. I'm getting the other the other ones in, and I'll just do a big review on all of them. Oh man, this knife. This that's a good knife. D2 feels good in hand. Flips open like crazy. You really, you really could have stuck artisan on the side of this. I don't know what the difference would be. G10, D2, bearings. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know who they got working. Maybe they paid somebody less than they did for the other ones. But these knives are awesome. There you go. Check that out. That's, oh man, that's a good one. That feels like a Kubi or a Ganzo that came out. There's one that has a little cut out there. This one's nice. Again, you can stick the Artisan the artisan pivot there and just stick that artisan logo there and you wouldn't know the difference just a great knife flips open and that that flipper is easy to find and super easy to use so two awesome awesome blades that y'all should look at don't wait for me to do the review on y'all should go check those out if that's your kind of blade and you're looking for something in that range that's a great great knife they're both awesome i don't know where these go good knives and uh, well worth the money and I don't know stuff you could give away for Christmas or whatnot and not feel bad about anything just a great knife doo, doo, doo. Christine and I are out to dinner and wanted to pop in and say hello all right hey hey Pete hey Christine welcome welcome doo, doo. All right. Yeah, just they, they do the laser stuff. Just send them a picture. Or, I'm not sure if they're how they're doing it. If they're just doing it in store, or if they're doing it over the internet right now. But most of the time, you just send in a picture, and they'll try to line it up on the blade as best as possible, and then they just go from there. I don't know. It's really man. These artisans. These are heavy knives, but they feel so good in hand. I think I'm going to get something in. I'm just going to beat the mess out of one of my artisans. What do y'all think about that? I just want to see what kind of a beating it'll take. Not a spine wag beating. Just like some serious work. And not just crazy batoning. I just want to put put some of these through the, their paces. It just feels like a, a really good, useful work knife. So I'm going to try that out. Not on this one. This one was a present. I'm going to try it out on something that I get my, for myself. The cleaverish one, gray cider, that is definitely, that's the way to go. That's a good knife. Feels good in hand. Great steel. And, you know, we've become a kind of blasé about D2. And But if you remember just two two years ago, D2 was something tough. You're talking about D2. Is a, you said tool steel. You're just like, oh, that's a D2 steel. You know, so, yeah, D2, that's a... 
That's a good steel. A good steel to mess with for sure. A good steel to get a working a working knife, especially when you're gonna use. I don't know. I like it. Now it would cost a lot more, like I said, two years ago, two and a half years ago. But now D2 is just like it's everywhere. Oh, you wanna be cool? What if you what if I switched out the copper backspacer in the brass one? What would that look like? I'm trying to imagine. I might have to do that. I don't know. How can I get that pivot out? Yeah, you can get that out. All right, cool. I might try that out. All right, let me put this away for right now. Let me see what else we got coming in. Oh, we got a... I'm sorry. I'm trying not to burp in y'all's ear. I just ate that, that burger, and it's burpable. Okay, I got a, a pick box in. I don't know if I'm supposed to say who it's from. If you sit in a piff box and it had something that looked like that in it and you don't mind me saying anything, raise your hand and say so. And then I will use your name, but not in vain. <clears throat> I will wait. I will wait momentarily. Did you send in something like that? Hey, Misty, welcome. Cool skull patch. I need to get like a patch wall. Like a, something I can just stick patches to. All right, hey Carl B, welcome. We're waiting on permission. I have not received permission, so I will not be using names. We will use code names. Like, uh, Billy Jack. <laughs> Your name is now Billy Jack, for whoever sent this in. Everybody thank Billy Jack. <laughs> I couldn't think of another name. Just don't let him kick you on that side of the face with the other side of his foot. All right, so the first thing Billy Jack said in was this excellent Rough Rider assisted flipper. Now, if y'all haven't seen these, these are really cool. This is the first one of these I've seen. And you know what? This feels very comparable to like a, like a Kershaw assisted. It's just super snappy. Check this out. I don't want to take my finger off here. Super snappy. Codename Vigilante Badger. <laughs> That's a better one than Billy Jack. Ah. <laughs> and it's very locked up. I don't know how, what these are costing. But um, it, it's super, it's super <laughs> Vigilante Badger. <laughs> It's look at that snaps open and it's easy to shut one handed so you're good there lots of assist on this thing and it comes down to there so you're good closing it one handed but there you go this is a really cool knife and I have never like I said I haven't seen any of the Rough Riders in the, the locked in assisted folders or any of the flipper folders so this is the first one and it's very cool so good job thank you very much to Vigilante Badger. I don't know. Really cool. That's kind of a cool piff knife. Almost perfect. Just a perfect piff knife. Alright. Put that one there. And then, let's see what else he sent in. Ooh, he sent in this one here. Check this one out. This is like a little CRKT. I don't know if this is an M16. But it's snappy. I think these are all the M16s. Yeah, M16. Check that out. 01 something. 01 KS. Very nice. Just This is a great, great knife. You get this in for Christmas. And ooh, almost took my finger off there. But just a great knife. Really nice EDC-able knife. So super, super cool. Oh, cool. Cool. I didn't know that, Peter B. That's great. That's great information. So, yeah. Peter B said... D2's been around for 80 years since 1934, and it will be around long after all we're all gone. So while that is depressing to hear, I would, but it's also good to know. All right, David. David Donald is Billy Jack, his vigilante badger. So he's the one. Point to him and say thank you. Thank you, David. So he's sitting in the Rough Rider. He's sitting in the M16. He's sitting in the Skull Patch. 
<clears throat> Jeremy, I owe you a, I owe you a something. I found them. I found me some at uh, Amazon, I think. I don't remember. I got some in. So, yeah, I did. I found the rubberized plastic plates. And you're the one that led me to them. So, I owe you something. I'll figure it out. They're probably like a swag, swag bag or something. All right, so then we're not done yet with David, with Vigilante Badger, with Billy Jack. Let us know, David, how you want to be referred, Billy Jack or Vigilante Badger. <laughs> you don't get to be called David anymore. You're one of those two. <laughs> so he's sitting in this Camorra. I love the Camorra stuff. I love the Camorra stuff because, number one, it's good budget stuff, and it comes with all the cool stuff, like the... It comes with the, the swipey cloth. It comes with the excellent bag. And it comes with the legend of Camorran steel on there. So, really cool. Another one of those kind of things that you can give as a present. And look at that blade. Man, I love that sheep's footy cleaver thing. That's one of my favorite blade shapes right there. That M16 replaced the washers with bearings. Oh. Man, this thing is snappy. This thing is really good action on it check that out oh it's a thumb stud it's got a little thumb stud action you can use it as a flipper but i'm going thumb stud that is cool i might have to give me one of those very cool and even with the clip the tip down tip down yeah that, that right there gets that middle finger on my left-handed grip just perfectly so it's like it was made for it. that doesn't bother me since I jammed mine into my pockets with a really long... Now, this one doesn't have... <gasps> There's no lanyard on here. So, all right. So, I won't be stealing that one. Anyways, thank you. Thank you, Vigilante Badger. David, <laughs> really, I really appreciate it. This is a really cool box. And I'm most likely, this one's going to go into a piffle. That one might, too. I don't know. This one's going to go into a piffle to raise money. i got to start doing some piffles pretty quick here. So that we can have some shipping money for Piffmas. If y'all want to, just send in some Piffmas money. Piffmas shipping. If you're wondering, hey, I don't got time to send in a box or I ain't got time, I ain't got anything to send in. Shipping. Piffmas. Piffmas is $8 a box. And we're going to have around 250 people at least. And we have $1.75 in the Piffmas account. <laughs> no, we have more than that. But we're going to need some more money. All right, now, let me see what else we got here. What's the number of the Rough Rider? Let me check here. Good question. I should have given you a number on all these. Number on the Rough Rider is Rough Rider RR1827. That doesn't help because it's blurry. It's like I'm looking through a frosted glass. RR1827. Doom, doom, doom. All right, let's see. Got that out of the way. Got to do. Got a big review pile over here. Where's that at? Right there. Make sure we get those reviewed. What else did I get? I got something else this week. Oh, okay. Is that it? Is this the one? No, that's the one. All right. There's a big old mess over here. If I could swing this camera sideways, y'all would see the huge mess of knives and packing stuff and boxes and cheeto wrappers no <laughs> there's no cheeto wrappers okay so i got this accidentally i thought this was a different model than i ordered but anyways i got me a ganzo this is a cool knife folks y'all need to go grab one of these i don't know how old this one i don't remember the age on this one this is the seven the fb 7651 this is like a really inexpensive, you know, that version of that knife. That That's what this is. I'm not going to mention names. But get you one of these. This is a more knife than what I paid for. I think I paid 24 bucks for this. Get you one of these if you're looking for something budgety and you don't want to go with the artisan budgets. It's a really cool time to be out for budget knives. But... There you go. Check this out. I am going to, this week, we're going to do another one of those number hunt giveaway things. Because i got a lot of reviews to do this week. And so next Friday, we'll do a drawing. Or we'll do the, the number thing for this one. For next Friday's uh, live stream. So next Friday night, 
we'll figure out who wins this one. So be on the look for unexplainable numbers and videos and stuff like that. Fingernail numbers and hands numbers and how many superheroes are out on the table. That kind of stuff. I'll make sure you know what you're looking for. <clears throat> I'll leave little hints. But we'll be giving that away. And I think I already did a review on this one. But in case not, I will be doing a review on that one too this week. But if you don't want to wait for next week, grab you one of these. It's a cool knife. It's kind of up there with that. The uh, CJR. CJR B, right? Yeah, CJR A. B. CJR B. If you could read, son, if you'd learned when you were three, like I told you. All right, I can read. I can read. Crazy old voice in my head. All right. Oh, these are moving. I can move these all around. What else we got? I think that's about it for what else we have. All right, if I owe you a, how many right angles are pictured, that would be messed up. I wouldn't want to count that. Yeah, it's kind of like that, Eddie. Kind of like the 940. If the 940 was a little bit shorter and a little bit thicker, like a perfect 940. I hate to say that, but I like that the way that feels better than the 940 in my hand. Score to really use Recon 1, breathing life back into it with the KME and some elbow grease. Oh, that's always fun. That's always a good project. Finding a knife you like and then fixing it up. That's a cool neat, cool thing to do. I wish I was better at it. I wish I was better at breathing knives and things. In fact, I have a knife that I'm supposed to be working on. And I can't, I, it feels like this guy super glued these posts in. And I can't get the posts out. So I'm on the verge of just not doing anything with it. Thing, I might stick it to the heat gun, but that's about all I got left. That's about all I can do left on this thing. So, we'll figure that out soon. Tonight. <clears throat> How many hairs in my beard? I don't want to count that either. Found a Coast FX350 day on seawall construction job I've been working on all week. Perfect condition recovering some more than you. The honeycomb scale on the front side is grippy awesome. Oh, cool. That's awesome. It's always cool to find a knife. One of my first cool knives, when I first started my channel, my dad found it in a parking lot for me. So yeah, I always like found knives, recycled found knives. That's fun. All right, what else I got here? Man, I thought I had more than I did. Thinking about ordering the Cold Steel Wild West buoy don't need it but want it and don't know why no that's that's everybody I think most people's knife purchases are don't need but want if you had if you just absolutely what I sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger just absolutely <laughs> if you just absolutely <laughs> if you just absolutely had to have a knife and you had to have one to cover every situation you'd have one in the kitchen you have one maybe good fixed blade and one good folder and then the other 385 knives you have would be obsolete or not needed so yeah i think most of the collection is something you need something you want <clears throat> give me a nice lt right fixed blade and gc tradition Ooh, that's nice those are nice my ad10 came in from woot nice i was so close so close to getting all the woots and i didn't so I got to save a little dinero. Finally gonna love a found blade to rescue. Put a chopper on the table, please. A chopper. Okay. Let me get a chopper for you. I'll get you a chopper. Order Kaiser Dukes. Kaiser Dukes is a good knife. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Get to the chopper. I'm getting to the chopper. Hold on. Favorite choppers. You move over here. Oh, <laughs> I hope that's choppery enough. Oh, that's gotta be chopper enough. Yeah. Alright, we'll take that down too. Oh, two excellent choppers. I found one. 
I found two. We're gonna start out with the first one, and we might not have to go to number two. Oh, will that will that count as a chopper? Are we gonna let that be a chopper? Yes. Oh, the GX5. Oh, oh man, this thing is awesome. Ugh. Oh, I'm going out to the country this week. Maybe I'll chop some more stuff with it. This thing is a beast. Ugh. The British used the Kaiser Dukes to defeat the Argentinians. Is that a true story? In the Falklands? Hey, Hawaii Knife and Gear. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there's your chopper for the evening, sir. And ladies, if you're into choppers. Oh, yeah, this thing. This thing is awesome. I think if I had to have one fixed blade, this might be it for everything. I mean, if I had to have one blade, that might be it. Whew, that's a beast. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, what else am I getting in this week? I got a couple, like I said, I'm getting the rest of the the budget line from Artisan, I think. And I got a couple more of their knives I'm getting in. Man, I keep having this itch to buy something really exciting. Just, I mean, not exciting like the Artisan that Smoky Mountain sent me. But just exciting. But I can't find it. I can't find the the, the button to push, the lever to pull, the itch to scratch. I can't find it. And plus, I'm trying to save for Blade Show West, so I'm not sure. It might be Blade Show West might be the next itch I scratch there. So, we'll see how that goes. But, you know how that goes. Sometimes you just... Just searching for that next one. I know Marshall. I don't think Marshall's in here. He found something awesome that he'd been wanting for a while. So that's pretty cool. And if y'all got something coming in that you're excited about, anything good, getting me through Friday traffic once again. All right. Watch for the cutoff with all the vowels in it. That's your cutoff. I E I uh, I A I E I E A A I I uh. We used to eat over there all the time. Isn't that where the mall is? I don't remember. That was a long time ago. It was like 30 years ago. So forgive me for not knowing. It's like 25 years ago. It's a long time ago. Many moons ago. There's a place in Hawaii known as Waimea Bay where the best surfers in the world come to play. <clears throat> do, do, do. The Rough Rider Combat Sword? Yeah, is that the one that I was, I made an omelet with? <laughs> that thing's awesome. If that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, that thing, yeah, that's a fun, fun knife. Holy heck, for the price you're paying for that, you're gonna, you, it'd be hard pressed to find a knife you're gonna have more fun with than that combat sword for that kind of money. Swap in the dog crap Italian slow for another microtech so I can avoid the restock fee. Man, that, that bites that they make you pay the restock fee like that. That's a negative mark against those folks. So which market tech are you getting? You're going to be a surprise. More time looking for the next thing than time spent enjoying what I have. Rob, I think that's a lot of us sometimes. Like this, I haven't had this in hand in a while. And this is way more enjoyable than looking for the next one that's going to make me feel like this. Because this thing is awesome. So yeah, I can feel you there. I totally understand. And sometimes I get caught up in finding the next thing. And you're right. Maybe I just need to go through the closet. Open up the safe. And just check. Aia, there you go. Yeah, Aia. Hawaii. Man, it was such a cool place. <clears throat> just decide to have a good job, stale paycheck, and we'll translate some perks and so on. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to look at it. It's a dump. Oh, is it a dump now? It was nice back back when. That's where the nice mall was and the great theater was. Maybe it wasn't the mall. No, probably. I was going to say probably not buying from them again. Yeah, I, I've looked at their stuff before. They have some really cool decorated microtex over there I've thought about getting stuff from them and I may have bought something from them once but yeah having to restock that's that's pretty much garbage 
if, if you can show you didn't use it and they're it's on them that the knife is messed up that's that's messed up hey Jeff welcome we're talking about Hawaii we're talking about Microtex and we're talking about choppas so jump in and if you're getting anything we're also talking about what's coming in the mail <clears throat> The only city in the country spelled with all vowels. There you go. I knew there was something about it I remembered. <clears throat> so, who all here, I know a couple of y'all are, are going to Blade Show West. Do y'all have plans? Like, are we doing a big party out there? Are we having a big luncheon or a big dinner? Or are we just going to ram into each other and see what happens? Be like, Blade Show West, the great, the, the, what you call it, you know, when everything explodes, the Big Bang, and then particles of matter and universes created. Hit me with Topps Chopper. I want to make my first. I don't have a Topps Chopper. I don't think. I have the, the uh, El Chete, but that's about as choppery as I can get on the Topps. A three thousand dollar handgun. Dang. What would you give for three thousand dollars? What? I mean, I never even heard of a three thousand dollar handgun. That sounds pretty amazing. <clears throat> Here's my Joe Hoover chopper. I'm really glad I picked that one up when I did because I think he passed away. This is one of his custom choppers. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Forget the steel on that. The Triarch 2011. Dang, now I gotta check that out. Hold on a second here. Hold your horses. Triarch. I just want to see a picture of the 2011. Oh, here we go. Here's a review. Let's see if he can say something nice about it. All I'm told is so loud. Here. Too loud. Good. I just want to see the gun. You have a sweet, sweet plaid shirt, sir. I just want to see the gun. Ooh. That is pretty cool. Man. Yeah, I'm not good enough for that gun. I'm going to just start with something a little bit not as awesome. <clears throat> do, do, do. Where is Voorhees Machete? Did, I don't know. I think Voorhees might enjoy some of this. Of course, I do have the, uh, the Michael Myers. Excellent. Light edition, in case he hurt his wrist, decimating, you know, campers or whatever he was doing. Might have hurt his wrist. Need something a little bit lighter. Oh, let me try a Voorhees machete. I bet I could find something. The El Chetty seems a little bit overkill for somebody that's going crazy whacking mode. But, you know, it might work. Let's see here. Ooh. That one, that one might work. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, this will work. I think that's a machete. And we'll go with that. All right, we got some excellent fixed blades. If uh, thrashing coeds is what you're into here on Friday the 13th. We'll remove this small, tiny, insignificant blade here. All right. Ah! I thought it was falling down on me. Sorry about that. Sorry I had to scream like a loon. <laughs> I thought the chopper was falling down. Oh, nice. Thought it was loon season. It was not. It was me. 
fearing a severed leg. All right, this is the Carruthers Behemoth Field Chopper. 3V, just 3V awesomeness right there. Just a lot of good stuff going on there. <clears throat> Not too bad. Seems to be versatile. <clears throat> hey, Chad, number two, thank you for being here. <clears throat> All right, so that's that one. Definitely an excellent knife for whatever you got to do with it. it. Feels real good in hand, too. Carruthers does some amazing stuff. That 3V stuff. You're correct, Spear Blade. That is true. All right, then I have this Bark River. I forget the name on this. I always forget the name on this. Do you all know what this is? like the Alpha Bravo Chopper. Alpha Chopper Bravo Machete. Bravo Machete, that's what it is. So you go. Here's the Bravo Machete. More like a slick, thin machete. Tell you what you don't want to do with this is carve your turkey with it. Yeah, you're going to think you're really cool carving your turkey, and then your finger is going to make it up here. And then the guests are eating part of your blood. But you just don't tell anybody. And they're like, oh, this is the juiciest turkey I ever ate. And you're like, it's because I put love in there. <laughs> and by love, I mean O positive. Y'all are all going to die. <laughs> Anyways, that's the Bravo Machete, which is awesome. That's a great, great knife, the Bravo Machete. Super light. Who told me Bravo Mache? Jeff, thank you. You know what I'm talking about. All right, Hawaii. Thank you for being here. I always like your Hawaiian insight. All the insights you have into the the island over there. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you for making it. All right. <clears throat> All right, that's the uh, giant one. I don't have a sheet for that. And then here's one that's really good and versatile course El Chede for the Spanish version of Jason which I don't know how to say Jason in Spanish <clears throat> that's right I, I, I thrashed the turkey with extra love this year all right, let's see. So what else you guys got coming in here? I've told you all my secrets. I've showed you the great choppers. What else is coming in here? Hey, Mark, welcome. Hey, Mo, good to see you. <laughs> so you say, Jose? Jose is Jason? Jason? El Yason. <laughs> There's a lot of answers here. I'm going with Eddie on this one. That Jose. Isn't that, but that's Joe. I thought that was Joe. Is it Joe and Jason kind of the same thing over there? Jason? <laughs> Jason? <laughs> Jason? <laughs> Jason? <laughs> Senor Hason? I don't know about this. All right, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Break out the gold. The gold fascia. <laughs> fascia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Since you were here when I broke it out early, I'll bring it out. Just got my bailout tie scales away from PM2. Ooh, nice. There you go. Check that out. They are so awesome to do that for me. Very cool. <clears throat> you know, Chris, I got Christopher. I don't have a huge purpose for him either, except for show you guys and have in my collection, I guess. So sometimes I feel like I got too much as far as what I can use, but then I just realize. I got too much as far as what I can use. And I, <laughs> I just have to live with it. But if it ever comes down to it, if I ever do move to somewhere where I need lots of knives on set, 
start their zombie uprising. Or local old lady bingo uprising. I'm good to go. I'm good to go for either of those. All right, let's see what else we got going here. Yeah, they cut off a lot. They cut off my lips and everything, but I think you got the important parts there. So we kind of know. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. I just love it. It just means a ton. Man, just every once in a while you get to be acting stupid and you get to feeling like down or and somebody does something nice. That's just like this. I, like Smoky Mountain like had the piff spirit, which was really, really cool. Because all they had to do was send me the knife to review or whatever they wanted me to do with it, but they made it extra awesome. And that's just exactly what Piff is, is about. Just for no reason whatsoever, just making people feel good. And that's what makes me feel good too. All right, enough cheese. Enough fluffiness. What now? What shall we talk about? Oh, somebody's leaving. Who's leaving? Gray. Hey, Gray Sider, thank you for being here. Time to hunt some bounties. Dang. Gray Sider's a bounty hunter. That's awesome. I think I think Eric is sleeping. I think he had a shift switch kind of thing. He has to be on day shift or something. So yeah, I think he's asleep. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. All right. So we got everybody what's coming in. Don't forget this week, check out the videos for some numbers and crazy things out of place because I'm going to give away, I'm going to give away that Ganzo and probably some other stuff too next Friday on the live stream. So we'll get that done. We'll do that. I can't think of anything else that really needs to be addressed. Pithmas. Is coming up, so if y'all are in the mood to to give for Piffmas, just send it to Jimmy slash YouTube Yahoo.com and that'll all go towards Piff shipping. Of course, if you want to send stuff in, just send me an email and I'll give you my address and you can send the whatever stuff you have in. And that that's anything, that's all kinds of stuff, you know, first aid stuff, 550 cord knives, sharpening stuff stickers whatever you got we, we're just gonna be filling up a ton of boxes and like i say every time it always seems like we have enough and then we we're just right at the end you know squeezing that last drop of water out of our canteen so anything you send in is appreciative appreciated and anything that is not used for piff miss of course will be just going straight into piff for 2020 so nothing's going to be wasted or given away well it's all going to be given away but none of it's going to be wasted doo, doo, doo. Jeff the JX5 just awesome that's what you need this is just an amazing knife it's one of those things I want another one of but I have no real reason to get one Miami Whitefish anything yeah what well, some Whitefish I guess you know what blade steel is on the coast FX 350. I have no idea, Scott. Yeah, probably something like HCR, something like that. A lot of stores are pulling a lot of Ganzo that's going to be discontinued. Oh, okay. Well, maybe this one's one of the ones that you can't get anymore. Oh, dang. I got I get most of my Ganzos from Power Cutlery. That's where I go through. I've never had any issues with them. And it's usually like two or three days. No, I'd say about three days. I usually get them three three business days. So, didn't I have another JX5? No, I didn't. I don't. I just had one. <clears throat> Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I'd love to get some glow scales for that. That would be awesome. Yeah, Eddie. Listen to Eddie. Hit that. Bang that like button. 
that really helps out the channel. It lets YouTube know that I should be thrown into the mix somewhere. So yeah, if you can, if you wouldn't mind, smash the like button. All right, let's see. So we went over the giveaway, went over the knives, did some choppers, went over the pith, went over what I got in. I don't think I have anything else. If I owe you something, I owe two people something, and I will get that out this tomorrow. I was supposed to get out last week. Man, this week's just been swampy and not swampy like hot and muggy, but just like I've been swamped with different things, work and videos and children's and horrible horrible debilitating arm pain but I'll be getting them out tomorrow I do have a cool looking brother slip joint coming from China so who knows when cool I appreciate David thank you appreciate and I appreciate the piff box it was great that's going to be really helpful. Somebody can get a couple of cool things they really like on that. I think that's about it. It's going to be a little bit short. But um, look for me on Sunday. We'll do some more stuff on Sunday. And I might have a special guest. I might bring in my wife on Sunday to do a little, little live stream with me. Hey, she's right here. I'm going to put her on the spot. You want to do a live stream Sunday with me? Yes, I'll be there. There we go. All right, you heard it here. You like an arm wrestling match? I'm in Houston. And there's an arm wrestling, actually arm wrestling club that meets once a week. So, yeah, if you want to arm wrestle, we can definitely do it then. Don't expect much, but we can definitely do it. I smashed the button and broke the screen. <laughs> Bruce, you're the one I'm talking to. I owe you something. Your stuff is coming, I promise. So I haven't forgotten about you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, G-Man. If y'all are going to be getting stuff from Smoky Mountain, use the, the affiliate link down there, please. And like I said, does two things. Gives a little kickback to me. And most importantly, it lets Smoky Mountain know that we're doing things that send people their way over here. So it lets them know that, you know, I'm, I'm worthwhile. And I that, keep that going there. So I really appreciate it. <clears throat> hey, yeah, I'll be out at Blade Show next year. So maybe we can meet up there and have an arm, an arm wrestle. Appreciate everybody being here. Thanks, Zach. Thank you, G-Man, making this my cheapest for the next free shipping deal. Yeah, I just put in a bunch of stuff, kind of inexpensive budget budget deal today to them. So I ended up getting six or seven knives just so I can get the free shipping. All right, y'all have a good weekend. And look for me on Sunday. I'm going to be doing some chopping and stuff out in the country on Sunday. So there'll be a lot of fun stuff coming up taking a couple choppers, taking some knives out there and just beat the mess out of some stuff. So I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for putting up my nonsense and thank you for commenting and just making this a whole lot easier by, uh, by talking and stuff. So have a great weekend and look for me on Sunday and look for Tammy Slash on Sunday and I'll talk to you later.